Hey everybody, how's it going? Beer back, T Break here today with some more World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth gameplay. Today we're checking out the Shadow Priest. The Shadow Priest on the live servers are cleave machines, some of the biggest like wind up build up you'll see in the game ever, really. And on the live uh, on the alpha anyway, sorry, they're um a bit boring in my opinion now. Void form has just turned into like a 30 second cooldown which you just go in between every couple of seconds. It's a little strange, um, but we'll get to that a bit later. So what have the Shadow Priests gained and lost in the alpha? The biggest thing is Mind Seer is back. On the live service AOE you have to press Shadow Word Pain into uh, Mind Flay. It's very slow, very laborious, and you can't AOE because of it because it's so slow. Well, don't worry, Mind Seer is back. You can do it on your allies, stuff like that. And it does AoE damage to the target, gives you back insanity per target hit, and it's looking pretty good to have. Look at that, it looks juicy numbers, juicy insanity gains. Another addition is now Leap of Faith, is now baseline for Shadow Priest. You can actually help your allies out whenever you want to, which is pretty neat to have. Also, um, Shadow, p Shadow Word, Power Word Fortitude is now a priest ability, it gives everybody 10% stamina in your raid, nice to have. Pretty good stuff right there. And that's about it for baseline abilities. Nothing too much has changed. Uh, void form is a bit different, I guess. Void form gives you half the amount of haste on the live server does. On live server, you get 1% haste. Here is 0 0.5. And obviously, because we're losing our artifact abilities, um, we also lose Void Torrent. At least, it's not baseline. It's now a talent. Also, there's some other things that aren't really gameplay like things, uh, stuff like while you're in void form, you do more damage stacking over time with your dots. Um, when you're in void form, you'd have a little orb next to you and it'd make your single target abilities cleave on people who already have Shadow Word Pain. Stuff like that doesn't really have gameplay mechanics because you don't change your gameplay style because of it. The biggest one I get is you lose the tendrils that come on the ground and hit the boss with Mind Flay, which would sometimes give you good RNG and you get longer void form stacks, but really that's very minor and um, wasn't too big of a deal in terms of maximizing the class that much. Okay then, so let's show you some basic gameplay. Mind Blast, hit the dots, do a bit of Mind Flay action. Because it's AoE here, you could do obviously the uh, Mines here. And then when you're ready, you're going to press good old Void Eruption here, enter Void Form, do a bit more damage with the Void Form stacks, and just try and survive in here as long as possible. Each stack of this gives us increased haste, and also makes the Mind Blast cooldown a bit lower. But as you can see, it's partly with the lag, partly my uh, ineptitude, and partly the gear. Um, it's very hard to have high stacks of... Um, Void form now. 14% is this baseline gear we're getting, uh, at least on the alpha, which is very, very low. The stats are all pretty evened out, but even then, it, is, it feels really bad. Like, it. Most classes, like, have haste in build. Like, look at crit here. We're getting a 17.6% increase by crit, and we have 22.6 overall. Stuff like that. Most classes, you normally start with, like, 10% haste. I don't know what's going on with the Shadow Priest, but it's a little bit strange anyway. Um, very short Void Form stacks, so really, or Void Form in general, so really, the talents are all about extending that Void Form in different ways, and at the same time, they're based around AoE and single target and utility. And the goal with the Alpha for Battle for Azeroth is that each row is either single target, AoE, or utility, and the Shadow Priest kind of does that, but kind of doesn't at the same time. There's some things here and there that don't make sense. It is Alpha. Um, literally yesterday, I was complaining about this with the Shaman, and the Shaman's one got all mixed around, so it's a lot better now. So maybe the Priest will get that very soon, but this is what we have currently, and the game comes out in less than four months. So, um, come on, let's get on onto it. <laughs> anyway, let's start from level 15 and go to level 100. To level 15, these are all just Mind Blast based talents, pretty much. Fortress of the Mind makes your Mind Flay and Mind Blast do more damage. Same as the live servers. Shadowy Insight, Shadow Word Pain gives you a chance to get instant Mind Blast. It procs very, very often on the uh, the Alpha, by the way. Not sure if this is correct, but if you do AoE Shadow Word Pain, you're literally mashing Mind Blast at some times. Uh, and Shadow Word Void replaces Mind Blast, does slightly more damage, slightly more sanity, but has a higher charge time, but there's two charges of it. Mind Blast by default has no charges. 
Anyway, level 30, Mania, Body and Soul, exactly the same. Sand Lane is totally different. It gives your Vampiric Embrace a lower cooldown and increase the healing you do for a Vampiric Embrace. On the live servers, it makes your Vampiric Touch also do more damage. This row here is totally utility, but as I was saying, it makes no sense because these two are movement and this is like helping your raid out. Why wouldn't you just... These two could both be baseline for anybody cares. Shadow Priest are so slow anyway. These could both be baseline. Maybe make this like 30, make this like 15 or something really low. Um, and then add some more healing ones here. Make it so your Vampiric Touch heals you more. Maybe make this one so you get the raid heal more. Maybe make one of them so you're... I don't know. You drop Shadow Orbs on the ground that heal people. I don't, I don't know, Blizz. But it's very odd this line right now. 45. A brand new talent right here. And uh, <laughs> the only new talent, <laughs> really, is Dark Void. It's not even a talent, it's it's not even new because it's literally the Shadow Priest ring from the live servers. Anyway, I digress. Void Eruption applies Shadow Word Pain to all targets hit. So, um, Void Eruption is when you enter your Void form, you need 90 Insanity on the uh, the Alpha here. Let's build up a little bit here, take a little bit of time. You'll see with Void Eruption, and we'll apply Shadow Word Pain to all the targets. It looks nice. Get lots of procs of Shadowy Insight. And yeah, it's not bad at all. They'll apply the dots quickly to all the targets. One good thing about this over the live version is that it's only a talent. It's not something like a Legendary, which is so important. Especially when you compare it to the other ones, which are to do with AoE, at least Misery. But different ways of AoE. So Misery is when you apply Vampiric Touch, also apply Shadow Word Pain. Same as a live servers. It's more when you have less targets AoE overall, less burst, maybe more of a um two target cleave kind of thing. Dark Void's better for burst adds, maybe dungeons also, though you're not normally running between packs and dungeons with max shad um, max insanity. So I don't really know what's going on there. Twist of Fate is the same as a live servers, except it does half the amount of damage, which kinda sucks. Um, but this doesn't make sense because this row is about AoE, and Twist of Fate doesn't make you AoE better, it just makes you do more damage. So on single target you'd always pick this. With these ones you could kind of go, oh maybe I could do some smart stuff with letting my Shadow Word Pain drop off, because it will drop off now in the current iteration, because Void Bolt spoilers does not give you anywhere amount of the increased duration as a live servers. Um, this could be something you could think about, same as Misery at least, but Twist of Fate is Best single target, obviously, free. So, um, this needs to move somewhere. Probably down here at 75, but we'll get there eventually. Level 60 makes your, uh, Silence have a 15 second lower cooldown. Makes it 30 seconds, which is very, very low for a Silence. That's the same, if not better, than, like, uh, Counter Spell for Mages. And the thing is, this is an actual Silence, even if you don't hit the actual character when they're casting. So, you can just blanket Silence people on a 30 second cooldown. That's pretty powerful, in my opinion. Especially if Seth Hughes was still around, holy hell. Uh, Mind Bomb here, Mind Bomb Nectar, so it's a range Psychic Scream. So it doesn't stun anymore, stuns have been nerfed overall, um, slows have been nerfed, everything's been nerfed in terms of CC. So don't panic too much, but it does kind of suck for the Shadow Priest. Fears are still usable though, because they are like a pseudo stun, a micro stun, they stop the people from casting, stuff like that. And one good thing is that nobody else fears in the game, because who would fear? And that means you're on a different DR, diminishing return to everybody else, so your fear would last longer. Though fear does break on uh, <laughs> damage taken, so we'll see how that plays out. And fear targets do run away, and you could pull more stuff in your dungeon if you're not careful. Physic Horror, Psychic Horror even, is totally reworked. It's now a one-person stun. It does not share a cooldown with your Psychic Scream. So you can have Psychic Scream here, and then I can go stun another mob. Which is really good for Shadow Priest and PvP. You know, a fear and a stun. Single person stun, instant cast, no delay. Even in dungeons, it's really, really good. Um, yeah. Good stuff, really. Really nice talent upgrade. Level 75. This is about, um... I don't know what this line is about. Auspicious Spirits is the same. Uh, generates you sh insanity and gives you increased damage of your spirits. The spirits come out when you crit with your Shadow Word Pain. Shadow Word Death is no longer baseline, which is uh, an interesting one since this ability has been there since Burning Crusade. I'm not sure Vanilla actually, but definitely Burning Crusade it was around. So, um, yeah, it's now a talent, I guess. Uh, and a Shadow Crash is your AoE Big Blast ability. It's pretty cool. 
it's the same as live, except it's not on the 100 line. So that's nice to have. It gives you more ways to do AoE damage. Just, just, just look, just put Shadow Crash here. There's your AoE sorted. Twist of Fate is now down here. That's sorted because these are all giving you ways to generate insanity differently. This is like a bit better on cleave, makes your spirits do more damage, gives you insanity, can do some void form, sorry, dispersion nonsense. Shadow Word Pain makes your um, execute better by generating more insanity straight up, while Twist of Fate makes you do more damage during, during execute, so you do more damage <laughs> in a way. So there's different ways of doing it, which is very, very cool. Anyway, level 90, this line actually makes sense a little bit. Um, Lingering Insanity and Power Fusion are exactly the same, so it's Mindbender, um, that fact. They, uh, gives you haste over here from Lingering Insanity, Power Fusion is the same, Mindbender is the same. Um, it's really strange, this line too, because Lingering Insanity helps you get back in the Void Form faster, while Mindbender and Power Fusion extend your Void Forms. So, it, the line kind of makes sense. It lets you be in void form more often or for longer durations in different ways because Linger Insanity means you get back there faster, so you have a high uptime. But Parent Fusion and Mind Bender let you have a high uptime because you have higher stacks. So different ways are played out, I guess you could say. Anyway, then we have level 100, Legacy of the Void. This is slightly different. Um, it requires only 60 Insanity, not 65. And instead of giving you 5% more Shadow Damage for whatever reason, that you see the Void does in the live servers. This makes your Void Eruption have a, a shorter cast time by 40%, which is pretty meaningful, especially if you're going to be dropping in and out of Void form so often. So this is something that's pretty major in my opinion. Void Torrent is now a talent, same as live, you press the button while you're in Void form, you don't lose any uh, insanity, but you keep gaining Void stacks, pretty cool. Serenity to Madness though is completely different and... Um, I don't know what's going on with Shadow of the Madness, really. <laughs> it's interesting. It could be on this line, really. So, Serenity to Madness increases your insanity generation by 100% for one minute. And when it ends, you don't die. You take 90% of your max life. So, you can die if you're not above 90%. And you cannot generate insanity for 30 seconds. So, on the live servers, when you enter Serenity to Madness, it's like doesn't activate until you enter void form so you get the benefits of being able to move while casting as long as you enter void form which is really really good this one though you get the insanity even if you fall out of void form you don't die straight away you can keep moving and casting it's very different so we'll just kind of show you here so like we'll just generate some insanity let's do single target to show a better example we got a little mind blast animation that's pretty new doesn't look that good though <laughs> not like crazy they all look the same what adults have the same animation so we're generating our insanity here. Look at these procs. Can we get a keybind for our center? There we go. Shift five. Surrender to madness. Surrender to madness. We're gonna get a bit more insanity generation here. Let's enter void form. Dots are dropped off, but we reapply that through our uh, dark void talent. And you see here we're doing double the insanity generation, which is obviously pretty nice. This just kind of feels like the live server, in my opinion, when I play uh, surrender to madness. You don't last that long, as you can see here, I'm going to get to 20 stacks of pushing it. We're really pushing it for 20 stacks here. Lucky proc a shadowy inside there. Void form again. Ah, oh, I didn't get it. Oh, we are there. So we got the 27 stacks, which is pretty high. I think it's my best yet, actually, on the, uh, the alpha. Without AoEing like a madman with suspicious spirits. Back into the back into the void eruption. 15 seconds left of our... Um, oh, got to cast this. Of our... Uh, Surrender to Madness. It is very laggy, I apologize. I am playing from Australia on the US servers and my internet sucks in general, so it's not great. Okay, here we go. About to fall out of void form. Oh, fall out of, sorry, Surrender to Madness. We're still in void form there. And we took 90% of our damage in life. Oh, sorry, 90% of our life in damage. So yeah, it's pretty rough. Um, Obviously, that sucks. You can dispersion most of the damage easily. If you just press dispersion at the last second, you're going to lose maybe half your health, not even half, maybe 30%, which is pretty reasonable in my opinion. Um, but now I can't generate insanity for a couple of seconds. It's an interesting one, that line, or that ability. It's very powerful. If you have execute on the pool, maybe. Um, if for some reason you have to DPS the boss every four minutes, exactly, because it's not even a five minute, it's a four minute cooldown, like, why not make it a three minute cooldown or something? I don't know. Um, 
Shadow Priest, to me, on this version of the Alpha, are feeling very generic. If you don't know, uh, Blizzard are trying to push that each class and their specs are very specialized, very niche. The best example I have is mainly the Warlock. The Warlock, each spec does totally different things, and you will re you will change specs depending on the encounter all the time. Demonology is definitely your cannon spec, you, your turret spec even. You sit there, you do tons of damage, you can't move in cast, you can't AoE really that well. You can currently in the alpha because the numbers are just way too high, but uh, your AoE is very limited, I should say. And then you have something like Affliction. Affliction can just run around and cast spells all day for free really you know don't have the cast shadow bolts too much very much an aoe class i don't even think currently city corruption costs a uh, void um a void <laughs> it costs a uh i just got the name all of a sudden cost a uh, a shard before <laughs> it's definitely a void shard um soul shard that's it and then destruction is a two target cleave so sh because shadow only has one dps spec much like monk much like red paladin they have to be good at everything, and so it just feels like you don't have a niche anymore. The niche on the live server is that you do no damage on the pool, but you build up over time and you really go big in the end game where you have lots of haste, heroism's popping off, things are twist of fate, you're really going ham, you have no downtime later on, and when things are getting really panicky, Shadow Priests really pull through. But now you um hop in and out of void form continuously, you you do your damage, you have your dots, you still have your AoE. Um, obviously, it's great to have mines here. I'm not going to say it's bad, but it's definitely to have mines here. Um, but if there's something lacking, I don't feel unique when I'm playing the Shadow Priest anymore. I don't feel you ha have these really wow moments. I don't go, damn, that was a really fun, awesome moment. Obviously, Alpha, I can't remember awesome moment hitting a target on me that much, but I don't see crazy possibilities anymore. I don't feel it. On the live servers, you know, as much as I said artifacts don't matter anymore, the traits which gave you like 2% more damage of your Shadow Word Pain and Vampiric Touch when you were in Void Form were really cool because it really promoted big stacks of Void Form. But now we don't have that. The benefit of being in Void Form has been neutered severely. It only gives you 0.5 haste compared to the um, 1% haste on the live servers. We get such low amount of stacks. The only benefit is... There is no benefit. I was going to say maybe... Um, Lingering Sanity is slightly better now, and I've disconnected probably from the game because of my lag. There you go. <laughs> Live servers, boys. Uh, alpha servers, even. But yeah, I don't know. Um, I like Shadow Priest a lot on the live servers. This is a bit backwards, in my opinion. Besides, some of the talent changes are very nice to have. Things need to be moved around still. We also have no tier. We also have no... Um, as a right, who knows how much it's going to impact our gameplay. Currently, for Shadow Priest, it's awful. So, um, there's only this one piece. So, don't get too uh, crazy about it. I have a video about as a right gear already on the channel. You can check that out if you want to see what that's all about. Um, but, yeah, look at Master Spell Radius now. We'll see how it goes for Shadow Priest. It's a long way to go. Still four months away. I have hope. But, um, I would definitely not start BFA as a Shadow Priest. If this was the current iteration, I would not do it. I'd be very scared. Your AoE isn't the best. Your single target looks very weak right now. Even if things were all balanced, you just the void form isn't there. It doesn't seem like you can go uh, like a big pumper, as some kids would say. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's see how it plays out, guys. If you want me to check out a specific class, leave a comment below. Because, yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment below, as I said already, in a way. And like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.